Hey guys, Jay Cutler here, checking out the newest issue of Muscular Development, which yours truly is on the cover. Grab your issue, is hitting newsstands now. All right, so here we are at, at uh, Gold's Gym here, another uh, session we're gonna do for MDTV. It is now uh, 10 past one in the morning. We're just about uh, three weeks, a little over three weeks out, okay? I'm gonna check my weight. I've had, uh, I've had five meals so far out of seven. Five, yeah. So I woke up about 275 and a half this morning, okay? So my weight is just over 283, 283 and a half, but I'm wearing sneakers and a couple. So I figure, I figure I fluctuate about six or seven pounds through the day. So we're gonna bang out some hamstrings today. So let's go hit it. We focused on lying leg curls to start. Um, did a, used a pad there to try to, you know, get a little more contraction out of the hamstring. I did a couple warm up sets and then I did about four working sets there. Really, just trying to get a, a good squeeze out of the out of the hamstrings. Uh, next, moving seated leg curl, which uh, really helps focus, take the hips out of the movement. Uh, we did three sets there, going up to almost the whole weight stack. Um, just really trying to get a good squeeze and get a good stretch on the hamstrings. It's uh, you know something that I think is a little different. Uh, for those gyms that actually have that seated leg curl, that ham tractor, it's really good movement for the hamstrings. We did a one-legged squat on the Smith machine, which I, I only did a couple sets there, but uh, if you notice, uh, I did kind of a variation of this where I wasn't trying to put too much tension on my quads because I do my quads and hamstrings on a different day. So it, it, uh, it allows me um, to put a little more uh, stress on the glute and the hamstring, um, really just trying to get that contraction in the upper glute and, of course, the lower position, get that stretch in the hamstring. So, of course, when I was training hamstrings, that's what I was focusing on. So we did a couple sits there trying to squeeze everything out. Next, moving over to stiff-legged deadlifts with dumbbells, which um, in the past I've done these and not really felt them as much. I was bending my knees too much. With this, you'll notice I really kick my hips out and really try to get my, my hips backwards and really get a, a really solid stretch um, with the hamstrings. I think, um, you know, we talked a little bit about, you know, how to improve maybe some of my side shots, and uh, we, we talked about this being one of the, the uh, ideal movements for that. So I did uh, about three, four sets there. Uh, going up to about 70 pounds. And then of course, move over to the uh, one-legged curl where we did three sets there and just focusing unilaterally, just getting the blood in there and uh, really just trying to get a great contraction out, bring out some more detail. By that time, my, my hams were pretty much already fried. As you see, I did a couple stretches at the end just to try to really get, uh, you know, everything loosened up. You know, that's it. You know, for, for uh, you know, the leg workout, I've been hitting it real, real hard now for uh, about 14 weeks during my show prep and, uh, you know, moving into the contest now in a few weeks and, uh, you know, the, the leg workouts are going to get, um, you know, tougher, I'm sure, the next couple weeks. And then, of course, the last week we'll be able to, to back off a little bit and let the legs recoup. But I seem um, to be making progress. Um, I guess that's all you can really hope for when training for the competitions is, um, you know, to avoid any injuries. This is the first year I'm actually training for the Mr. Olympia that I don't have any tweaks in pains and I haven't had um, you know any uh, any strains getting ready for the competition yeah knocking wood and uh, you know I, I seem I seem to be uh, 
you know, on track as far as my training. And, um, you know, now it's just, you know, following the routine and getting dialed in for the competition and hopefully uh, grabbing that, that fifth title here in three weeks. And uh, I'll let Hani say a few words, um, you know, how uh, our progression has been um, with our training. And because, uh, you know, that's what we're really focused on this year is, you know, just bringing the best package we can. I mean, I'm not trying to be any bigger. Um, you know, I'm just trying to bring, you know, a dry look to the Mr. Olympia and just uh, show my best, you know, that my physique can actually show um, and just try to outmuscle everyone to win the competition. So I'll pass it off to Hani, and I want to thank all the fans out there and, of course, Muscular Development, Steve Blackman and his staff, and, uh, you know, we'll see you guys uh, in three weeks. Okay, I just got into Vegas about three hours, four hours ago. Jay picked me up. I was doing a stint out in Boise for a couple of days. Came directly here after we spoke. Thought it would be a good idea. Uh, normally, uh, Jay comes out to uh, San Jose about four weeks out, but this year, due to the fact that he had to go out to um, to one of his events uh, down in uh, San Diego, we were able to um, to change some things up for me to come up here and make sure that everything's on track. Um, sometimes, you know, photos can be, you know, a little bit misleading. So what we did is we decided to, to definitely not skip seeing each other, just decided to sh shift it up a week so that we're going to be at three weeks instead of four weeks out. And uh, definitely on track. Now what we got to do is just keep pushing because a lot of times people will definitely look at their physique and not continue to progress. They just uh, hold back at that two-week mark or one-week mark or three-week mark. And what we need to do is continue to keep getting the definition, creating that three-dimensional look, and getting that detail. Um, and that's, what that, that's basically what we're working on right now. So uh, everything, again, is on track and uh, looking forward to uh, the next muscular development update. So check back with musculardevelopment.com, and you'll see me, you'll see Jay, and uh, our, our next update, getting ready for the 2011 Mr. Olympia. Hey guys, Jay Cutler here, checking out the newest issue of Muscular Development, which yours truly is on the cover. Grab your issue, is hitting newsstands now.